dangerous, you have to do new things and even in uncertain times like these, it's very important to have a direction that you're leading your company and your team towards. So I think the most important business decision that I make every day is just sort of predicting the future. I think it's a great publication. I mean, I was on the cover of it uh, back in 2018. In fact, that's the cover when we launched our 103 day. I really respect it as a publication because even they make a lot of effort to highlight Indian entrepreneurs alongside international brands. And while the luxury industry looks all glitz and glam, I think it's a very difficult space because the consumers are so demanding, there's so much competition, you really have to be the best of your game. So it is a true luxury insider, I love catching up with it every month and seeing the who's who and what's new in the luxury space. You know, I generally like doing high-end products, that's what I started with back 15 years ago, but now it's about 10,000 uh, pin code, 1,000 crore, uh, you know, 50 lakh consumer, large Benmore. However, I do see I want to take it back to where our focus has always and only been high end products. So I think the next five years, it's just going to push it to become even more, I would say, luxurious while being large. I like champagne. places and do sightseeing, I kind of like to explore places on their own. Uh, a couple of years ago, a friend of mine and I did a road trip in Morocco from Tangier to Sumira to staying overnight in the Sahara Desert and I think she and I must have covered like some 2,000 kilometers on the street and I really enjoyed it because you know, you can make your own adventure. So maybe the next trip I'd like to go to a very interesting country, I don't know, I've traveled the world but maybe South America, maybe Scandinavia, you know, just sort of off the beaten path, take my car and go. You know, I actually have a diploma in jewelry design and I've designed a lot of my favorite jewelry pieces. So that's not something that I've commercialized and made a business, but I'm very proud of my collection. And of course, a lot of family heirlooms have been handed over to newer generations. So I would say that my fine jewelry collection is probably the you know collection that I'm most passionate about, my most prized possession for sure. I think I just always like to spend on good quality makeup and make sure that I carry it with me so that I'm you know insta ready at any time. And uh, it's important as you know the chef in the company that I've always put my best you know foot and best face forward. And I think just making sure you're the right kit with the right products uh, is always in my bag. Shopping. I think I've always liked the sort of artist collapse that a lot of luxury bad brands have done. Like you have a uh, Tone with their capsules, you have Lady Dior, you have Delco that does limited edition pieces. So I'm always looking for like a perfect limited edition one off piece, and it's been on my mind for a while. I just haven't found something that I really connect to. And want to buy but as soon as I find something I know that that's, that's something I've had an eye out for a while. Well I entered what was called a male dominated industry. You know, the tech industry is generally seen as very stuffy and boring and then giving it this sort of fresh lease of life through my eyes of luxury and experience I was able to build such a large company. Of course there was uh, you know a lot of uh, competition was difficult in the beginning then they were able to create a niche for ourselves and really grow. So I would say for most women is you know don't look at easy industries, don't look at places with the barriers to entry of you. Those markets get crowded very fast. Try and find a space that people haven't done before. See how you can again be you know the sort of new kid on the block, disruptor, fresh air in it, and uh, find make that your sort of